Hey, what's up? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim, and I am with my friends Natalie, Will, Mantho, Riley, and where you at, Sean? I'm right here. Uh, Sean Lydon, and we are at the <laughs> Nashville uh, World Championships. So we're at the Pokemon World Championships in Nashville, Tennessee. This is insane. The artwork is beautiful. We are checking out the convention center now. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Check out Natalie here, and she is standing below this giant Nashville banner there. That just is amazing. There's so much awesome artwork here. Convention center looks amazing, and we are going to get in line for the World Store now. Uh, we've got our eyes on some some of the merchandise that they got over there at the Pokemon Center exclusive world store So that is super hype. Check this out. Got some official artwork here. I Just love that artwork. It looks so good uh, And just is uh, super hype. So we're all excited here we're gonna wait in line a little bit still testing and trying to figure out what to play for the world championships as well. We have to submit our list in a couple of hours, so things are getting pretty tense here. Uh, coming down to the wire, just trying to pick between our last couple decks. A lot of us are really liking Buzzrock. Uh, we're also liking Zoroark Garbodor. Kind of feel like those are our top two picks, and it's going to be an intense couple of hours here until we get our deck list submitted. Then, once we get our deck list submitted, more or less, we'll be able to relax and just say, you know what, however the tournament goes, it goes, but up until then, we are going to be kind of racking our brains over final card counts and inclusions and things like that. But check out this line for the World Store. Totally insane. This is nuts. Of course, every year we get a huge line. Waiting in line for the World Store. Playing some games here versus Sean Line. Doing some last second testing here. Also got some last second testing happening over here on the floor with uh, Riley and Natalie. And uh, Will staring intently yeah, and contemplating, uh, you know, you contemplating it. life and also his list. So, uh, it looks like we got about an hour until the World Store opens, so we're just going to be hanging out and playing some games and seeing how it goes. Line is finally moving, busted. We're going to be in there pretty shortly. Uh, let's see, Riley, what are you most excited about in the World Store? The World Store? Uh, the blanket is really appealing to me. It's kind of expensive. But I don't have any like cool Pokemon blankets, and I'm a blanket guy. You'll see. I, house, like, I also, want a, <laughs> also, I also want a blanket. Also want a blanket. Sean, what's your most hype item in the store? Uh, I want the pins. I collect the pin sets. Ah, uh, okay. Boring, but I want. You get one. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to buy everything, though. i buy a little bit of everything. I'm going to buy some ignorant stuff and have a great time. Yeah. All right, Will, what are you most excited about in the store? Uh, I don't know. I want the uh, sweatshirt a lot. The sweatshirt. I, the sweatshirt. I heard there's a hoodie. Yeah, yeah the hoodie. It's like hoodie. 70 bucks, but, you know, it's like I my work. When in Nashville, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what my most hyped item in the store is yet. Uh, so the, the blanket. There's a Pikachu pillow I got there a couple years ago. That was super nice. So if they have a, a plushy pillow, that could be a thing as well. I have some nice pillows on my couches. I really pride myself in my pillow collection. So that could be a thing too. I also, you know, water bottles, things like that. I like to get gifts for my parents when I'm out here. Uh, kind of just bring them home something nice as a kind of, I don't know, like token of my appreciation for the sport and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We're almost there. Oh my, okay. We are in sight. We can see it. Here it is. Check that out. Pokemon Center Store. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Check this out. My goodness, a Cartana. I am like in love with this Mark Pato here. <laughs> He's got big paper legs. Very funny. I love him. 
I love this Marciano. He's amazing. So good. Pikachu dress with a bikini. That's a classic. Pikachu dress with a rowlet. Very cute. Team Skull. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, Sean, show me this new stuff that we got here. All right. All right we got the oh, limited set. edition dice and oh, coin yeah. set. All right. Yeah, so these are, these are exactly like the TC Evolutions dice. All right. Let's uh, put some in your hand or something. Let me let me kind of get a shot. Yeah, let's put uh, some in All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are just like the TC Evolutions dice. Very cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh, how do they feel, Riley? What's it, what's it like? I mean, they feel great. I very, the TC Evolutions dice are also very high quality. This, yeah. These are incredible quality. You can just feel yeah. it in your hand. Right. Definitely real right, like, metal too. quality work. The paint work on them is really good. You can see. Yeah. You no know, like splotches or Super anything. Super cool. Collectible coin, also yeah, awesome. Yeah, show off the over. coin. I real love quick. these coin things that they do. Uh, it says Nashville on the back. back. That is super cool. And the, all the logo work they've done for this the region. It's just like incredible. looks phenomenal. So that was like 30 bucks for the Dyson coin set, but I think that'll definitely be a hot item. That was a brand new thing yeah. that we weren't really expecting in there. Natalie, show us what you got. I just got the water bottle. She got the water bottle, and then we oh, also we let's see, let's check out that water bottle real quick. Uh, all right. So it's got a nice logo on it. Let me awesome. get the hoodie out. We'll see that. And it has got the nice little, uh, I don't know, sippy top, right? Yeah. Sippy top really action. Nice. Awesome stuff. And then let's see what we got in our old bag down here. All right, let's see that poster. All right, so I ended up getting two of these posters here. Uh, the Pokemon World Championship. What, is, what are they called? Hatch posters? Yeah, a hatch nice. print? Hatch print. And Riley, you got one of those too, right? I did. It's awesome. They are super cool. I got one for myself and uh, also one for my dad. I think my dad will like that. I always try to get my parents a little bit of something at the world championships and natalie also got that hoodie yeah, all right let's see that hoodie you bust it out of the plastic it's gonna be big. I oh yeah so that is awesome check that out big cozy hoodie for natalie good stuff got a nice logo on there uh and a zipper let's see the back oh the back's got a sweet pokemon nice. design as well very nice hoodie very high quality sweet stuff I'm and then uh, he got the jersey. Who got the jersey? Will did. Oh, Will got the jersey. He's still walking around. Uh, he's still walking around looking for stuff, awesome Daddy. stuff. Uh, and Sean here stocking up on the deck boxes. Yeah, the deck boxes are probably just going to be hot. They're always popular items and always have pretty good resale value as well. So deck boxes are always great this to pick up. Oh, uh, let me see what you got too there, Sean. Cool not to get. Oh, just too cool not to get. Raichu, Umbreon, Espeon. Oh, uh, and ditto. They're all ditto they're versions all of them. Yeah. That is awesome. So super cool stuff. Super cool stuff. Woo, yeah, Riley. Yeah, check you out, sir. Check you out. The festival of champions. What's up, everybody? Uh, all right. So here we are on the testing grounds here outside of the Nashville Convention Center. This convention center is huge. It's beautiful. It's insane. And we're at these beautiful tables here outside. We've got Auto Belendran and Auto, what are you testing here? Rayquaza. Rayquaza. So are you shipping the shipping the Ray Ray? Uh, you don't know. So. You don't know. We're not in a committed Not committed. Not committed. All right, Jimmy, what we got going on over here? Right, we got some Zork Garb. Zork Garb. You feeling Zork Garb, Jimmy? Maybe. maybe. Uh, this is the maybe crowd. Uh, All right, Riley. What's up, everybody? What's up? All right, what do you what do you got there in your hands? Buzzle it's called Buzzle Like. How are your feelings towards Buzzle Like a Rock? I love uh, the same as always. It's like a really powerful deck, but I just feel like sometimes it's unreliable. So you have about two hours to make your decision. What are you What are you feeling? Uh, you've got a lot it's between to these two decks. You it's between these two decks. Thirty-seven minutes. You have an hour and thirty-seven uh, minutes. And Andrew Dankus, what are your feelings? Uh, 
Well, he's playing with promo Garbodor, so he has to be locked in. Uh, he does have that beautiful promo Garbodor there that we can all see. So it looks like that you have a favorite. I'm between those two. You're between these two. All right, well, best of luck to you guys. I have already made my decision. I am shipping Buzz Rock. We've got a little bit of a crazy list. We're going to hope for the best. We're going to hope it works out. He's got the best. We are going to see how it goes. I mean, the list is locked and loaded, so that's just it. There's no changing it. We're just going to, yep, we're going to see. And hopefully we get to Dangerous Rogue some people. Hopefully we get to Knuckle Impact really good tomorrow. And if not, that's fine. I just hope that at least one of my friends gets to have a really sick run. That's all I'm really hoping for here at Worlds. We've got me and Natalie and Sean Lydon are all playing the same 60 cards. So we're all on the same card for card list. And I think that uh, perhaps if Riley plays Buzz Rock, he'll be on the same list too, but I'm not sure. Uh, I know that Otto is like 50-50 back and forth on the list as well. And Will. Oh, what did you get? What'd you get, Sean? So I get to go meet some people. You get who are these people, Sean? Uh, I got to read them. I'll have to read them. All right, so you get to <laughs> no, we're gonna read it for some like game designers. You get to meet the game designers. You get to meet stuff like that. That is insane, Sean. Dude, you better get some signatures, Sean. That's gonna be insane. Exactly. Bring some stuff there. So that's awesome. Sean got one of the golden ticket bags. So he's got an awesome invitation to go meet some of the people who work at Pokemon. Uh, really high up people who make this game run and over here I've got Natalie Champe. All right Natalie, what do you have to show us here? We've got our world's bags. Our world's bags are super dope and there is so much cool stuff inside. First of all, we've got that lanyard. Oh yeah, check that out. Awesome. It's got like Meloetta on it. There is the screen cleaner there. Very cool. This is like for, you know, DS's, stuff like that, just right, to... Uh, the mat. Let's see the competitor mat. I would like to see the competitor mat. Show it to us, Natalie. Show me what you got. Competitor mat. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's really different. Yeah, they always do this. I didn't know. They, I thought it would just be... No, the, the competitor mat always has the Pikachu and competitor, mm. and then like the other one, the store one, always has like the whole logo. This is amazing. They've been doing that since like forever. These are really beautiful mats here. That's awesome. I thought it was going to be more or less similar to the shop one. No, nope, they always with... make it just the Pikachu. That's awesome. So the competitor mat looks super sick. That is a really unique piece. I'm sure like the competitor mats always sell for a decent clip, so I don't know if I'll keep mine, sell mine, give it away on Patreon. We're going we're gonna to figure it out, see what my favorite things are show off that hat all right natalie yeah put that put that bad boy on all right nice nice golden color let me see the logo on there we've got the peach kachu with the banjo super super cool very nice hat actually really like that hat it's yeah i like the gold all right we've got our competitor and our spectator badges every competitor at the world championships gets a spectator badge so a lot of people are giving those away we've got the nashville shirt the competitor shirt awesome different than the shirt that's in the shop so unique, you can only get that Venezuela. from being a world competitor. Look at all these. These Lots are the countries. countries. These are the countries that all are competing in the world championships this year. So that is super. Russia, I think this, well. is this Russia's first year. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's so cool. that's super cool. Awesome stuff. What else we got in that bag, Natalie? Two packs of sleeves. Two packs of sleeves. Check those out. Very cool. Here's the Pikachu. Oh, the Pikachu. That's beautiful. I usually give this as a gift to uh, either my mom. Sometimes I'll take it to uh, my classroom and I'll put it up in my classroom where I teach. And it's just like, it's cool. I think like it's nice to have one from every year and just to kind of collect them. And so that's super sweet. Look at that. Pikachu with the banjo and he's got a little... Uh, a little cowboy hat on, oh, definitely cool. Got a bandana around his neck or her neck, you know, whatever. Deck Got box. the deck box. That's very nice. Let's see it. All right, beautiful stuff there. The deck box, Pikachu with the banjo and the cowboy hat. That cowboy hat actually is just super cool on that Pikachu. Very, very neat. And then let's see the back of that. Love the artwork on the back of that. The double deck box is honestly just like one of the coolest items out of these those. bags. They're so cool. I mean, they stay nice for a long time. They close magnetically. Uh, you know, it's just super, super nice design. And they're a great way to remember the uh, the world championships. And also, 
they just uh, are really useful. It's like really nice to be able to keep two, <laughs> two decks in like one well, spot. I have tons of them. Especially we when we're testing, yeah. Guitar picks. Oh, guitar picks. I'm giving this, these to my dad, he plays guitar. That is awesome, that's so cool. Are those cute? They are super cute. I might keep one, I might keep the Lava Fett, but my dad could use those. Super unique. It's Champions Festival, again. Uh, so we did get Champions Festival again. Yeah. I guess we're not gonna open ours because I'm Natalie sorry. and I We'll probably sell ours, but apparently the world's promo is Champions Festival. R.I.P. We are not getting Tropical Beach. And then we've got the bandana. The bandana is pretty dope as well. It's got Pikachu on it. It's got Nashville on it. We saw that in the shop, showed that off a little bit there. And then the pin, this is a competitor pin. So this is exclusive as well. Check that out. That golden pin just looks amazing. Super, super cool. Amazing stuff. And is there anything else? There is more. Oh, there's, yeah, we got an extra bonus pack sleeves. The dice bag or the DS bag. It's a DS pouch. It's a DS yeah, pouch, I guess. You can use guess. it as a dice bag. You can use it, it as a dice bag. It doesn't close well, and oh, I guess it does. But so, like, some of the old ones, it can close It's a little bag. longer, so you can tell it's kind of designed to fit a <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> DS XL. But super this, cool, <laughs> nice nice artwork. Don't, don't eat that. <laughs> don't eat that. Uh, nice artwork on it. It's got the Nashville logo there. I always think they do such an incredible job with the logos and just every year the world's artwork always just you know astonishes me and then the bag is super nice as well it's got this little decal on it here you see world championships 2018 nice little strap it folds at the top it's got the nashville logo there with a the record in the back of the pikachu that is super cool you tell the detail on the print there music notes and things like that looks really really awesome then the back of the backpack is just a typical backpack. It's got two uh, shoulder pouches or two shoulder straps. So it's a double shoulder strap bag. I know some years they've done the one shoulder strap, which uh, I think a lot of players prefer a double strap backpack, especially if they're carrying their cards and stuff just because it's more stable. So that was good to see as well. It's even got two little pouches here on the side for your little water bottles and things like that. So that's awesome. And of course the play Pokemon decal there. So really high quality backpack. I think Pokemon like really stepped up their game with the competitor packs this year. I was ex honestly, I was expecting the competitor packs to be a little weak since there's so many world's competitors this year, but it was amazing to see Pokemon really step up their game and kind of rise to the occasion and just have like a really, really well done world's bag. Oh, and just dropped a chair, so. <laughs> Great job, Pokemon. Bags are awesome. On our way to the first day of competition, we're all pretty nervous. Me, Riley, Natalie here, all playing Buzz Rock for the world. So, gonna see how that goes. Getting ready for the opening ceremony. And the opening ceremony is always a good time. I'm gonna film a little bit of that. And it's always just really exciting, really hype. They get like, you know, call outs to all the countries that are attending the world championships. And, you know, it honestly, it's just like pretty emotional, you know, pretty overwhelming. You kind of get like all these, uh, you know, because you worked all year to get here, so it's pretty pretty crazy to kind of go through that. So we want to make sure we got to the event hall early to have enough time to attend that, get some decent seats. So that's uh, that's where we're going, and then hopefully, you know, the cars just fall in our favor. I mean, honestly, there's so much variance in the game, and there's just going to be a lot of masters in attendance. I think it's like 500, uh, between five and 600 masters are going to be competing in the first day of competition. We're Assuming it's gonna be like eight rounds or so, maybe nine. Uh, usually World's Day ones are like seven rounds and you have to win five. So we're assuming it's gonna be, you have to go X and two. And we're assuming it's gonna be like eight or nine rounds. We don't really know yet, so keep you guys posted. So finally here, oh my gosh. And the setup looks insane, check it out. Pikachu, they're playing country music. I just heard the song Suzy Q, pretty cool. Uh, brings me back, my mom's name Suzy, so like that's kind of funny. It's a song we listened to growing up. The opening ceremony is gonna begin in just under 18 minutes, and I love the setup down here. There's like foggy lights, I mean you could look, it's like downtown, there's music themes going on. Very, very cool, very excited. I'm looking for a seat with Natalie and Riley now. So gonna show off the digs here, gonna show off the setup, and uh, get seated for the opening ceremony. Oh, Fine. Everything is busted, Andrew. Okay, 
into the World Championships, and I had a crushing loss round one. It was really rough. I played against Pissimian, Mew, Shrine of Punishment. Needless to say, I got punished. I don't think there was really any way I stood a chance against this Jack. I had Zygarde EX was like the champ. I almost won game one, but he had Counter Catcher on a Lele that I started that just been accumulating Shrine damage just all game for game there. Uh, game two, I just failed to set up. I couldn't, Zygarde and Diancy were both prized. Really rough for this matchup. Having to take out six non-EX, non-GX Pokemon uh, while Shrine is out and all that was just really, really tough to deal with. Uh, game two, or uh, round two, I played against Rayquaza in the deck. That is a matchup that I've tested. So that went really well. Was able to get, you know, turn two knuckle impact going on and just was very aggressive with both Lycanroc and Buzzwole. So that went better. The deck did cooperate for that. So we're one and one. There's eight rounds. I need to win six in order to make it into the day two of competition. Since I have a loss, ties are just, just as bad as losses for me now. So that's pretty tough. But, you know, it's fine, and I'm happy with the deck. Natalie won her first round. Will won his first round as well. I know Riley tied his first round. So, oh, and Otto won his first round. Sean Lydon also won his first round with the same deck. So, pretty cool stuff. Hopefully we can, uh, you know, at least put one or two of us into the second day of competition. Check this out. There is the Pikachu and Eevee Switch game here, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Just played a couple of rounds. I played two more rounds, and I'm three and one, so that's awesome. I won both of them. I played against a Zorark Lycanroc deck. It was extremely close. Crazy games. He was pulling off crazy multi-switch plays and dangerous rogue, claw slash, all that. Uh, Lycanroc is just such a good card right now. So close games versus my Zorark Lycanroc opponent. Then I just played one of the dudes who top aided London with Buzzrock, one of the inventors of the Buzzrock deck in a Buzzrock mirror. Super close series, amazing set. I uh, was able to, I got donked game one, but then I uh, was able to run it back 2-0 uh, in order to take the series. That was incredible. So, uh, you know, shout out to my opponents. Uh, they've all been incredible, all amazing games so far. It's just been so intense. Like, I, you know, I can feel it in my gut, just like, Ugh! this is nuts. So I'm 3-1. 
I need to win three more in, need to, in order to make it into day two. I've got four more rounds so I can afford one more loss or tie. Uh, but dude, I'm, I'm standing in front of, this is amazing, a Mega Constructs thing. Uh, this is like giant Lego Pokemon. Check this out. We've got a giant Mega Constructs Blastoise here. Just look at the detail on that thing. This looks incredible. And we've got Squirtle up here. And then we've got, of course, War Turtle over here. Shout out to all my Patreon fans. Here you go, Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise here. Awesome stuff. So this is uh, this is just super cool. I thought I'd show that off real quick. So awesome stuff. And uh, you know, I'll keep you guys posted on how the rest of this tournament goes. Uh, hopefully, we can punch something out. Played a couple more rounds. I'm four two now. I got very lucky in some situations. Got very unlucky in some other situations. Just lost a mirror, and I beat a Ray the round before that. It has been a wild ride. The mirror is just so tough, and there are so many Buzzrock mirrors out here, and it really just comes down to how the decks draw out. Uh, and the one game he ended up having to like rip a beast energy off of an N in order to swing around and had to flip a heads uh, in order to knock out my active Lycanroc GX. I had win on board next game, next turn, and it just was wild. So he like stole that game with the, the beast energy rip off an N to, uh, off like an end to two, it was uh, it was insane. And then also uh, the next game, I just dead drew. I mean, I opened uh, supporterless hand and just lost. So that's kind of how the mirror goes. Unfortunately, you know, you got to get lucky. I got lucky in some mirrors so far. Uh, didn't get lucky in that one. So it's four two. I got to win out at this point. Uh, Natalie's playing now. She was four one. She's playing a mirror as well. There is just tons and tons and tons of buzz rock here so it uh you know and it comes down to this so we're gonna see how our last two rounds go hopefully we can pull it out all right so we're here with the gang we got Otto, we got riley let's let's show everybody we got dankus in the house all right yeah what's up we got the whole gang here and uh we're all like winning in scenarios we're all like classic winning in scenarios so i'm five two i just beat a bonnet gx garbador deck pretty crazy isaiah rufus player i know from delaware so super close games uh it was awesome just great series zygarde really pulled his <laughs> Wait, Otto, you're at 5-2. Talk to me about it, my guy. I just beat Jesper, 2-0. Oh, wow. You, how many Buzzwolves have you beat today? Uh, four. Four. And how many have you played? Four. Oh, my gosh. And I've been telling you that I want to play against you because I think Ray is a good matchup for Buzz, but <laughs> apparently not. Fighting Fury Belt is a good card, man. Fighting Fury Belt is a very good card, Fighting yes. Fighting Fury Belt feels good. Feels good. And who's Ray list are you playing today? Uh, the great Andrew Mahomes. Oh, thanks, Otto. Oh, so if you make day two, you know, you just, uh, you know, give me a little shout out, all right, bud? Yeah, I'll send some money your way. Oh, you don't have to do all that. And Riley, what do you have, bud? I have 5-1-1. Classic win and in scenario. Classic win and in scenario. Couldn't get any more classic than this. No. Yeah. Couldn't have done it the easy way, huh? Uh, you know, round one should not have been a tie, but it, <laughs> but it ended up a tie. Yeah. You know, like mere seconds away, but you know, it's been here. running really well. So. It has, it has. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Tankeris. Yes. What's going on? How you doing, man? Five two. Five two. Classic winning in scenario. Classic winning in scenario. We've got a house full of them. So, Dankus, what did you play against last round? I played against uh, Buzzer Rock, but he was playing the four babies. Ah. Uh, how did you feel against a baby heavier version? Scared. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fine. It's fine when your opponent doesn't draw cards. Okay, right. So. That's because you play more supporters, right? Uh, I play nine. Nine? Nine is more than eight, yeah, which is what a lot of people play. Yeah. yeah. So good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff all around. All right, so I've been waiting to get to the beanbag pit. Hey, <laughs> we're here with Natalie. I've been eyeing this thing up all day. It is a crazy big beanbag pit. And ironically enough, we are having a pity party in the beanbag pit. So that's what's going on. Natalie and I both whipped day two. I lost my winning in. It was pretty devastating. It was just, it was rough. I won game one convincingly. Game two, I was drawing awkward. My opponent was just like ahead and playing pretty slow. So I had to scoop and go to game three where I thought I'd be favored because I just uh, felt like I had a better grasp of the mirror than my opponent did. And uh, just didn't. I started a dead hand game three, and my opponent was just able to capitalize on my slow start, and the rest is history. So that was rough, really hard way to you know go all the way to five and two and then lose. But both Riley and Otto are in day two. Otto is playing my Ray list, so that's really exciting. Uh, Riley, or yeah, Riley's only playing one card different than what Natalie and I both played uh, in our list. So the list was good. Yeah. Like, and I felt confident with it. It's just there were so many mirrors and. There's I not, played four. 
Natalie played four, I played three, and there's just not much you can do. The mirror is like, so long as you're playing correctly, and I felt like I did, then it really just comes down to luck and how often your opponent, you and your opponent hit B-strings, and we played as many B-strings as we could, so that's that. Tomorrow, we ain't playing in the I'm open. I'm not playing in the open. Not playing in the open. Good uh, riddance with I this. I got regionals. Good riddance with this format. <laughs> I'm gonna come back next year. We're gonna try and enjoy Nashville and forget about all of this, and also cheer on uh, both Otto and Riley. So that's pretty cool. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna keep you posted on how the uh, rest of the <laughs> weekend.